It's not about gathered crowd. It's about whether the cloud of glory is in the house. It's about whether the people will go with the cloud when it comes. I came from a religion. We were many in that religion. Do you know as many as over 200 million Muslims have memorized the whole of Quran from beginning to the end and can recite it? And Islamic people are more than 1 billion people on earth. So it's not about gathered crowd. It's not about even social media effect. They even have more followers than all of you, than most pastors. And the most advancing religion, speedily increasing, is that religion, not the Christianity. So I'm not in a fast and furious lane. Slow and steady wins the race. Where the Bible says, examine yourself whether you are in the faith or not. I'm examining myself. Jesus, who is the Savior, said it. He said, narrow is the way, straight is the gate. Somebody who is the progenitor of an exponent of a religion, who wants everybody to come, is still discouraging people by telling them stranger matters. It's like people are coming to this church and say, I don't think you'll be able to stay in this church. I don't think you'll be. It's hard. It's tough. Is that the way to advance your religion? Is that the way to advertise your product? But that is Jesus' way. So that if anybody actually wants to come, you know that you are ready for it. Many people told him they want to follow him. He said, you cannot. He said, go back. He said, you cannot. He told people, he said, you cannot. He just looked at them and said, this one. go back. But he said, broad is the way and wide is the gate that leads to eternal domination. Many are found thereupon. The other way here, only few found it. Only few. Compare and contrast. People, you cannot get to heaven without being conscious. You can go to hell without being conscious. Just like you cannot make it to the top without being conscious. You can be a failure without being conscious of it. You cannot have good marriage without knowing what it takes. Or you can have bad marriage without knowing what it takes. Failure doesn't need any effort. It's already there. Just like you cannot smell nice without an effort. But you can smell bad without effort. You see? If you are going to heaven, you, you will know it. Because every day, you are bombarded. If you are going to make it to the top, you will know it. Because every day, you are strained. All footballers are in precision right now. If you are going to be in form in the new season, you will know now. Your leg will not be breaking. You will not be going, having growing uh, injury on this injury, that injury. You are eating. You are drinking all around clubs. <laughs> people are... People, they are in the gym. You know? Very temperate. You know? Doing everything. Putting their bodies under certain measures. Developing muscles and everything. Because they are getting ready for the new season. That my star will shine. But they, they are going both spiritual and physical. People, footballers, they lit candle. They do talisman. They, there's nothing they don't do. The one that can pray is going from one prayer house to another prayer house. And then going to the gym. <laughs> it's very temperate. Mastering every trick. Watching all the people who have applied the trade. And have succeeded in it. Then you know... If your fellowship, some of you that are leaders of fellowship, is going to be great in the new year, you will know it now. If in September, you're going to have more people, you will know it now. You'll not be eating and drinking and be frying chicken around the street. I'll be growing hunchback and growing back, back bumper and, and looking at yourself and painting faces around the street. 
These are spiritual matters. They don't use painted faces to do it. When you are not Jezebel. So now, he prunes you. God prunes you. You're going to succeed. Every day. What I've used the whole, most of the days to do. I was talking to Pastor Sade. Because we were talking about Sunday school. We are starting new Sunday school. And he said, oh, we have done salvation in the church over there. I said, let us redo it. I said, have, have you seen anybody that is totally too saved and cannot be saved again? <laughs> I said, throughout today I've been repenting of one thing or the other. That's all I've been doing in the office. Lord, I'm sorry for this. Lord, I'm sorry for this. Lord, I'm sorry for this. Lord, I'm sorry. There is no day you bump into the presence of God that you are in perfect harmony. Say, I have nothing. Are you Jesus? You can be going around the church like this, just look at somebody like this. Thank God I'm not like that. May just say against a creature of God. Or you look at somebody's child and say, thank God my own child is not like that. Or you look at somebody's life, thank God my own life is not like that. That is Luke 18 you are repeating. Where somebody was saying, I fast twice a week. I pay my tithe. I'm not like. That's enough an issue to repent upon for two day, three days. Fasting because there's a latent pride on the inside. And God resists the proud. He gives more grace to the humble. So, God will prune you. And one major way that I know, Proverbs 1 5 again, that I know that you're going to succeed, that is that you're wise. When you are wise, you will succeed. I'm coming there, but let, let's see this. A wise man will hear. Please note this. Let it enter into your medulla blangata. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. You didn't say, I've learned everything I want to learn. I've seen everything I want to see. How to know you are wise? The first thing is that you are a listener. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your life. If you are not a listener in anything, you are a loser. You are actually a loser. That you don't have anything to be doing somewhere where you are not a listener. In any event you find yourself, in any place you find yourself, in anything you find yourself, if you are not a listener, you must listen to the foolish things, you must listen to the wise things. When witches are talking, listen. When... Righteous people are talking. Listen. If you listen to the witches, you will know what they used to handle the 